how important is it to be without stress while cooking? Yeah, because while cooking, to have that good awareness, elevated awareness, mm -hmm. it's very, very important thing. Because I'm putting good vibes in the food, mm -hmm. and whoever will eat that food, they will receive those powerful vibes. Okay. They will think like that way. So it's very important thing. If I am meditating, then I can able to put those good vibes, good thoughts while cooking the food also, and that helps family and also myself. myself. Uh, you know, a lot of uh, viewers out there may not realize this, um, mm. that uh, actually when you're cooking, your energy is actually going into the food as well. That's not right. just the ingredients that you put in the food, no. but it's your energy as well. So no, it's that's very- That's why in the family, when mother cooks some mm -hmm. food, yes. it's so tasty. That's right. And similar kind of food you eat outside, it's not it's that not tasty, well. because the love, good feelings okay. are also included in that food. That's very true. Mm. And uh, when the mother is dealing with the kids, you know, the kids these days seem to be too stressed out. Mm -hmm. I mean, this was not the case when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. um, what should a student do in order to handle his or her own stress? You know, be it because you know what, there's a lot of mm -hmm. pressure these days on kids. That's in right. addition to their studies, they have to have extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. They have to be in swimming, in dancing, in mm -hmm. painting. Mm -hmm. So, how does a student handle his or her yeah, stress? I remember just one of the country I was visiting, mm -hmm. and I met little boy, only five years old boy, mm -hmm. and I asked him question, "How are you?" And this little boy said, "Sister, I am no good." Oh my God! I said what happened? Oh my and God. then he said, oh sister, I'm having so much stress and headache. Oh and I God. said, how come you experience stress and headache? And then he said, oh sister, in my school, I have to do so much homework oh because of, you know, that homework, I'm feeling so much stressed oh and headache. And I became so surprised. Yeah, five-year-old. I was thinking each and every field, everybody is using this term. I'm having stress. Wow. I'm having tension. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so when students have this kind of situation, when they come in that situation, we always recommend students also, you know, we involve them more into the creative activities because in our Brahma Kumari Center, yeah, lot of courses are offered to the children, okay. students also. Okay. Okay. Yes, where they are able to bring the concentration power easily okay. in their task. Mm -hmm. Because in study, you need to have concentration power. Mm -hmm. Because I remember when I started this meditation, I was a student. That's yeah? right, you were very young. And it really helped me a lot in my study. Uh -huh. Because students always have problems, they can't remember. They can't focus, no they concentration. Can't fo yeah. So I can tell through my own experience that when you are practicing little meditation, mm -hmm. you need less time mm -hmm. and still you remember many things right. because in meditation, we concentrate our mind on higher being, on God. Right. So while doing study, you can easily focus your mind, concentrate quite easily mm -hmm. and you can remember a lot of things. Right, right. Uh, I was thinking like part of the reason could also be like uh, kids very, easily take on what their parents are talking about. So this five-year-old, it's possible if he has heard his yeah. parents say, we're stressed out, we're stressed out, then mm -hmm. he took on, you know, yeah. that stress and the words. So this is an important lesson for the parents too, That's to right. be careful what they say mm -hmm. when the kids are around. That's right. <laughs> right. You know, um, I had uh, read someplace that um, when the, the man of the house um, deals with a lot of stress, in a scenario mm -hmm. where the wife is a homemaker and he's the breadwinner, um, they deal with a lot of stress at yeah. work and they have all this responsibility. Mm -hmm. And um, they take it out when they come home, they take it out on their kids or mm -hmm. their wife. So I had um, read someplace that uh, if they can deal with the stress before mm -hmm. coming home yeah. with whatever ways they have, um, then maybe you know it will be more effective in dealing with stress. Mm -hmm. So what would you recommend they do before they actually even step into the house? Yeah, before they step into the house, first they need to become little relaxed, calm, and just go inside, within, inside, and start, you know, 
just thinking what nice things mm -hmm. you know they would like to share with their family okay. because if positive things they will share mm -hmm. family will be happy mm -hmm. if negative things will emerge then family will be sad and happy right. right. so that part i need to pay little attention you know before sharing any news what am i doing mm -hmm. what kind of news i should share with them okay. that part if they think before sharing then it will help to them and family mm -hmm.